Yeah, uh, it's your boy D-Rich back at you one more again. Y'all already know what it is. Got that Duke Nukem multiplayer. Jump right in first game. You know how I do it. I ain't messing around. I'm going to get right in get to it. So let's have some fun. You know what I'm saying? This right here, I, I'm, I know I had a few comments and I was like, you know, saying like I probably wasn't going to pick it up. The story behind that is, <clears throat> excuse me. I go down to GameStop, midnight release, Duke Nukem, forever. Like, oh man, you know, I'm here to get my game. You know, where's everybody at? Like, man, we only have like 18 people show up to get it. Yeah, this game got panned on IGN. You know, when I had seen that, no, I didn't really think a whole lot of it. I'm pretty tight with the dudes, the manager, assistant manager down at GameStop. And they're like, look, you're not going to like this game, man. It's going to be whack. People are going to be bringing it back within like, you know, 24 hours. So I'm like, well, you know, ah, how about the triple right there with the pipe bomb? Chia, cock it a thumbs up. You already know. But, um, <clears throat> so I'm thinking, you know, oh, maybe I will just wait. Maybe I'll just like, you know, slide that money on to the next, uh, the next reserve and, uh, and wait and see what people say about it. So, you know, a couple days go by. I'm thinking, well, um, you know, I'm going to go in and see if they've got to use copy if it sucked like that. And I'm going to pick it up and check it out anyway. At least I'll do a couple videos on it. <clears throat> so, you know, I go in. Nobody's brought the game back. And, uh, you know, I start looking at some things. I'm like, man, a lot, of, a lot of positive stuff. IGN's review on Duke, which, you know, basically slammed the game, was like 70% dislikes. People were like, you know, calling them out like, y'all full of shit. You know, Duke is, this is all right. So... I go ahead and I pick the game up, bring it straight home, jump right into multiplayer, this is my first game, roll out with a triple, get a couple pistol kills, a few other kills, get a landmine, it, it's hella fun, that's all I can say, if you're looking for something besides Call of Duty, if you want to like take your try hard panties off and throw them down on the floor, and you know just sit down and relax and chill and play some multiplayer, shoot some people, shrink some people, freeze some people, you know, this is, this is the game for you, if, if, you know <clears throat> it's a perfect game like if you just want to jump online and play something and you don't want to take it too seriously this is perfect now i'm sure there's some guys out there that are gonna find the places to camp and camp spawns and just try really hard like excessively hard but uh <laughs> they're idiots because that's not what this is about this is just about good shenanigans just good crazy fun and and that's exactly what i've had with it thus far as a matter of fact i can't wait to get done with this so i can get back on it and play it again i just got back from the movies with my lady uh went to see super eight which is a crazy movie man have any of you people seen this it is nuts like it tripped me out and i think the theater had the damn movie up like way too loud first of all which kind of took away from the experience for me a little bit but let me just say, there was a few moments where I kind of jumped. Like, it was it was not the plot I thought it would be. But, uh, yeah, and I'll say, I know I'm getting off topic, but if you hear that little yapping in the back, my wife just bought a dog, and it's a it's a little bitty tiny ball of fur, a little annoying bastard, but uh, I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. It's a multi palm. If you have any clue what that is, it's a cross between a Maltese and a Pomeranian. It's just a little shit ball of fun. And, uh... That is a good segue right back into uh, Duke Nukem because that's pretty much what this is. It's a shit ball of fun. It's just, it's just not serious. You know what I'm saying? It's just you can jump into it. It's like whatever. Um, get some pipe bomb kills and uh, and have some laughs. You got capture the babe, which is basically capture the flag. You got like a domination type thing. You got team Duke match, which is just team death match, and you just got regular Duke match. And uh, you know, they kind of got some stuff from Halo here where you got weapons laying around. You got to learn where they're at, get to them quick, pick those up, to pick the power weapons up, kind of control that. And uh, then you got like pipe bombs laying around, different stuff, booze, you know, beer, all that kind of cool stuff. Those are power ups. There's like a Heisman Trophy Duke that does, uh, you know, extra damage if you pick that up. You know, limited time, of course. Uh, and I'll say this. I didn't see a single person trying to camp or do anything, you know, real douchebaggy on here. It was just everybody was just running around trying to shoot and just, you know, get kills and just do crazy shit. So, 
it's just wide open, man. It, it, I think it's a kind of a different demographic that plays this. You got people that are playing for fun that play this. Not people that are playing to try to make a YouTube video of 100 kills. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Don't misunderstand me. It's just that this is a less serious type of a game. And I think it should be taken for exactly that. So, you know, am I telling you to go buy it? I don't know if I'm saying that. If, if, you, if you can only buy one game in the next three months, you know, this is probably not it. Uh, you know, Rage is... Well, actually, I think Rage got pushed back to October. But, uh... You know, maybe you want to hold on to that money and uh, and put it to better use. But if you've got the extra 60 bucks and uh, <clears throat> you're looking for something, a change of pace from Call of Duty, maybe you're tired of being like excessively serious and uh, worrying about a KD, this is probably the thing to pick up because it's good. And if you're a fan of the original Dukes, it's got a lot in common with that. So I had a blast with it, man. Like, for real, for real. I can't wait to go play it more. Capture the babe is crazy. You like, you run over to the other spawn, you grab this chick up, you throw her over her shoulder. She starts like putting her hands in front of your eyes and shit, and you gotta like smack her on the ass and spank her <laughs> to, to break her back to your flag. Uh, the spawns maybe were questionable. If I'm gonna fuss about something, there's two things I'm gonna fuss about. The matchmaking wasn't the greatest, but guys, it's Gearbox and it's 2K games. They will patch it if it's a little bit you know froggy they're gonna patch it and it'll get a lot better this is the same people that brought us borderlands one of the greatest games in my opinion in the last like five years or more so they're gonna fix it and it's gonna be hella fun the other thing is the, the spawns are a little funky but that falls into that category of things that will be fixed also they're promising a ton of dlc so i think there's gonna be a lot of replay value in this in the multiplayer and i haven't even touched the single player yet so I'm going to go exclusively Duke probably, uh, you know, for the next week or so. Just based on, you know, views and response from you guys. You know, let me know what you like. But I'm really enjoying this. It's something different. It's fresh. Uh, we haven't seen anything like this, at least not for, uh, you know, 12 or 13 years. So I I'm just, I'm really liking it, man. Uh, it's good fun. Good, clean fun. Okay, it's not clean, but it's good fun. So, uh you know hey pick it up if you got it hit me up we'll play i appreciate you guys tuning in stay tuned for my next duke video coming up shortly dirty south stand up gladius stand up peace